And we are seeing some imagery, some uh, regular imagery coming from White Sands, New Mexico here in the control room. And we are now getting some new views from the landing side. A great view of Starliner there. You can see the detail of the side hatch, the, the, color, the colors outlining the different parts of the spacecraft. And what we're seeing is the uh, first members of the landing recovery team moving out to the vehicle. They are just making sure that the atmosphere, that the environment is safe around Starliner. Starliner, of course, comes back um, through the atmosphere with the maneuvering fuel. It, it jettisons quite a bit of it on the, on the way down, but they do need to confirm before uh, the whole teams get there that the uh, environment is safe for the, uh, for the landing recovery team. You can also see in this, in this the uh, partially deflated airbags. They, of course, have vents on them to uh, cushion, just like a car airbag, to cushion the uh, touchdown impact. And this spacecraft will be used again. It can be reused up to 10 times. This vehicle, of course, comes down on land. We designed it to land on land just to get that reusable ability that you don't get when you splash down in the water. We can see the environmental enclosure being put into place. They're gonna put that over the Starliner vehicle as Josh just mentioned. And that's gonna clear the way to open the side hatch. The environmental enclosure, of course, protects the vehicle and its complex systems from the, uh, from the cold. Of course, Starliner has been through an extreme environment during this uh, deorbit burn, having gone through 3,000 degrees of heat before coming down softly under three main parachutes and landing on six airbags in a flawless return to Earth. Steve, while we wait for hear back more from the um, from the landing team, tell us a little bit about how uh, Starliner gets back to Florida. What what is that journey like? Well, they'll move. Uh, they'll basically after they get Starliner safe on the ground, they will um, they will put it on a on a truck inside a uh, crate that'll control the environment around it, and then it's a simple drive from White Sands, New Mexico, to uh, Cape Canaveral, Florida, to Kennedy Space Center. Sure, that sounds simple. Where the um, where the engineers will uh, pour through it and ultimately refurbish it, and we're going to fly it again. We are not only using these capsules one time. Each of these capsules is designed for ten times to go in space. We look forward to seeing this one land on its tenth time then. And we do have views now. The hatch is open. Starliner's OFT hatch is open. Rosie Snoopy inside, Rosie the Rocketeer, and the low gravity indicator Snoopy both made the trip along with, uh, along with a lot of commemorative cargo.